Okay, good evening. Uh, this is Matthew Wright uh, here in Bursco with uh, Conservative Councillor Jason Grice. Yep. And we're here on Tuesday the 24th of January 2012. Uh, Jason, the reason I'm here and the reason you know, you've uh, uh, cons you know, uh, given me an, an interview tonight is because of the current discussion around Bursco of the new U Tree Farm housing project. Uh, housing development. Now, for some, for people who don't know about it, perhaps you could give, first of all, a, a brief explanation about what's happening at the moment. Yes, yeah, sure. I mean, uh, what's happening at the moment is that the council are doing a consultation process uh, with local people to find out their views in relation to U Tree Farm uh, and developments of that site with in relation to 500 homes and. Uh, in, uh, 10 acres of employment land. That site is part of what is known as the local plan, which is a borough wide. Um, when you say borough, you mean West Lancashire? West Lancashire. It's, it's, okay. it's, it's to, it covers the, we the whole of West Lancashire borough, and which the full allocation is looking for 4,650 uh, homes within the borough. and the U Tree Farm site is 500 homes and part of that package. Um, when you say 500 homes, I can't really envisage 500 homes. How does that compare with, say for example, how many homes there are in Bursco West or Bursco? I mean, have you, have you got a, can you give me an idea of scale? Um, well, in Bursco, um, in Bursco West, I believe there's, um, there's just over, there's, uh, 2,300 homes or something like that, properties. Okay. So you're, you're talking about a 20 25% you know, increase or something like that. Okay. Um, there's There's been a lot of discussions. It's, a, it's been going on for about three and a half years now. Uh, it was started off originally as the local development framework and it's basically gone through a process <coughs> of consultation and uh, elimination of sites and more consultation than uh, were there three debates with ideas originally it started off as three options okay uh, Ormskirk, Bursko and a dispersal and um, what's actually happened which is well, in, the, in the original stages the dispersal uh, was actually when you say dispersal it, lots of pockets of land all over the borough okay so it's not just pockets, one package of not, land. No, not like a strategic site where there was a number of uh, homes at one site. There was a okay. dispersal option, which was lots of smaller pockets spread more wide. Fifty here, fifty there. Yeah, that kind okay. of thing. Was that uh, the first option? Was it? No, well, that was option C. Okay, and option then Ormskirk, uh, site was the uh, option A, and Bursko was option B. What was the option A in Ormskirk? The option A was um, the land opposite Edgell University, and it was um, near the motorway. Yeah, on it, uh, okay. St. Helens Road that yeah. runs out of Ormskirk, heading towards the M58. Uh, and it was it encompassed a lot of things, sports facilities, um, student accommodation, uh, and a certain number of homes as well. Just but very similar kind of things to what... Um, an option B is, is U Tree Farm. An option B was U Tree Farm. Okay. And what's actually happened... So what's is, left in the pot at the moment? Well, what actually happened, this is what I was going to say, was that the dispersal option which wasn't seen as at the beginning as being a very viable option uh, I personally believe that you know we have actually through consultation and you know over the years coming down to this the decision where we're at now with the draft local plan we actually have got to an almost a dispersal option where there's 500 here 500 here 250 in Ormskirk at Grove Farm okay. um, so you know they reduce the numbers in SCEM in Scamsdale so that uh, to a more realistic figure so that you know other areas have to take up slightly more because what's really important about this as well is that it, ha it really has to be workable it has to be realistic and workable um, for because all the all this local plan once it's been agreed by council at West Lanks uh, will have to go before uh, a planning inspector so it's really is that a important. national government planning inspector. Yeah, so it's a national government planning inspector. Okay. He's is, he, is he independent of government? 
No, it'll be a government. It'll be a government. It'll be a government planning. Uh, Is he a minister? No, he won't be a minister. He'll be part of the uh, planning. Um, He's a civil servant. Or yeah, yeah, okay. basically. All right. Uh, he'll be an inspector that's appointed to 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 look at the case, and basically he will ha assess whether this is a workable program but if you only at the moment assess the two that are left in the pot yes you can yeah okay we'll come back to that in a second because i've had a couple of people you know a few people last couple of days talk about that as an issue uh so 500 homes 200 in bersco 250 in ormskirk yeah uh well, what what do you see the benefits uh, plus the uh, plus the others around the west yeah, yeah, but up to about four thousand yeah. or so yeah, yeah. So there's not 3,000 homes going to be stuck on the uh, stuck on the backside of uh, Bursco. No, no. You know. uh, I mean, the draft local plan actually says 500 homes and 10 hectares of employment land, and over uh, what period? Uh, from well, the, the 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 period is from 2020 to 2027, mm -hmm. and the reason it's 20 starting at 2020 is because one of the conditions that's written in as part of the local plan is that um, the utilities, which a lot of people have concern over, the drainage, etc., uh, is is upgraded. There's improvements made to that before development starts. So what the reason is that so the reason in? in? Yes, that 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 is that being funded. That's going to, no United Utilities. Will, this is why it's starting at 2027 because United Utilities are going to fund the improvements. They, apart so from what I'm aware, they're aware. Are they, sorry, are, the, are the utility upgrades going in before the project starts? The condition is within the local plan that the utility upgrades be done prior to any development at the site. And that is a condition of the development? Yeah, the, u the drainage utilities. I mean, I do exactly, have... That's the water off the land. Yeah, yeah, you know, you drain off sewers the, and everything yeah. else. Um, and that has to be addressed before development can take place. It can't be addressed until 2020 because of finance, finance reasons and the way utilities works. Because they work, and they're not making enough money. Well, they, work a, they work on a five-year cycle, the way they release all budgets and so okay. budgets and stuff. So that's why it was set at 2020. And the number Bursker was originally at 850 homes, and it's been reduced to 500. And that's to reflect the time scale that's left between 2020 and 2027 because that's a realistic number of houses that could be built over that set time frame. So this infrastructure upgrade, it's guaranteed that the development won't start until that infrastructure upgrade... The drainage infrastructure. Oh right, so we're not talking... Okay, because there's, 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 there's highways as well. But there's, there's, there's A59 isn't it? It's all going yeah. alongside the A59. Yeah, yeah. Well this is, I was just going to mention this, one of, the, one of the concerns I have and I think particularly uh, is upsetting residents more so than the green uh, the green belt issue. We'll come back and, to and, that. And, yeah. and, and obviously, no, personally, knowing that the the utility uh, issue is going to be addressed prior to any development to, to alleviate uh, this problem. But not only yeah, but just just on the utilities, the, they will also uh, be rectifying the situation up at Ormskirk as well. So. The utility changes. So there's 250 leave. homes in Ormskirk. Yeah, and, and same deal, is it? And, and yeah, because it's all Ormskirk suffers from the same drainage issues that Burska does. We use is it a low water, high water table and stuff like that. Um, not not so much. It's capacity, oh, capacity. Really, more than anything right. else. And um, and we use the same uh, weight, weight, uh, water treatment centres that okay. they do. So there has to be a bit of a a link up with pipe work to other water to other water treatment centres like a, a, so a before you start building yeah yeah you've got to get underground done yeah that's got to be sorted uh, okay. and, and that's been that's been understood that's been a concern that's been put forward by residents so you can so categorically to, tell local residents that the agreement within the, time, within the local plan within the local plan or will this actually make well this is a draft local plan well, well, oh, well, draft. well this, this is yeah. a draft local plan now yeah. Um, but it says within that draft local plan, which will be agreed and then will become the local plan. So people, local people should hold the local authority to account on that plan. That yeah, I, I, what it I, comes down to. I will. I, yeah. I, I, I want okay. to see. I want to make. I want to see. I want it understood that before development takes place at U Tree Farm before any development takes place, I don't know if it's going to be agreed yet, I mean we're, we're talking about this prior to any decision being made, 
but you know should there be uh, any development take place at U Tree Farm I would expect that the utilities be sorted before that before development takes place I mean the the other the other concern the main concern is that something that, that, your, that the conservative uh, councillors borough wide are all committed to um, I can't speak for other councillors I mean what's I mean you have a lot of council your council party I mean is, is he on side with this has he made any public statements that um, yeah. the leader is uh, pushing this through as a borough wide issue okay. he's trying to make sure that um, the level of development is realistic enough for each area because you know we have to build like, these 4,650 homes bef you know within the set time frame uh, to meet our housing need um, the the view from our group is that we want to we have we have to do this you know this is uh, these are uh, allocations that have been set by governments to meet, to meet to meet housing need and um, and and so what we're trying to do is we're trying to spread the um, this is the this is the dispersal yes well I think we've kind of ended up with the dispersal in the end okay. in, in a lot of respects well, you, um, you mentioned as well as that dispersal I mean, it's, yeah we understand that there are houses being spread around the borough it's not just one lump of 4,000 houses going on the doorstep yeah but as you said uh, the option A for that big development outside Ormskirk towards Edge Hill surely Ormskirk you know that road of St Helens surely they're better able to take the lion's share of, well, of that you know so that, uh, that 750 I mean this is what they, we're going yeah. back here now uh, probably 18 months to when that was discussed was I understand the first option never went through to you no know, it was considered as three options originally and yeah. then the option A was taken out and then we get we filter down okay and, and to, to what we've got now with the two options and, and Berska seen as the strategic site and then so on and so on and what we've gradually done is ebbed down to, uh, to, to where we are now mm -hmm. but the Ormskirk site was taken out originally because when you assessed it against the other sites with the uh, number of benefits against the number of issues and then you do the same on option B and option C um, I personally the way I looked at it was that uh, Ormskirk site was grade A, uh, grade A green belt land, okay. um, a, a fabulous open open piece of so uh, green vistas, belt. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there was there's uh, traffic issues, not just everybody pulling away from that site. It's not just going to head out towards okay. the M58. It's going to head into Ormskirk. There's traffic issues with no, the, no, in, in Ormskirk and pollution issues. Because you, well. you mentioned the utilities issue, and people yeah. can hear what you've said to say on that. Yeah. Uh, the other part of the infrastructure issues are, you know, the the several fold. One is the congestion on this A59. I mean, let's use a couple of examples of current congestion. In the winter last year we had a bad area of snow and there was an accident in Preston the tailback through the A59 was from Preston to here almost uh, that's with the current that's with the current level of uh, traffic and housing second on a Sunday morning with that local uh, car boot sale anyone who's been around this part of Bursco and on the A59 on the Sunday morning and seen a couple of hundred cars turn up can see the mayhem and I just imagine, like many residents, that half a state in a morning, Monday morning, when there's 500 new homes there, what's it going to be like? Um, well, if I'm absolutely honest with you, the highways is one of my main concerns about this development. Um, so you share those concerns? The, the highways, I think, the highways is the crunch issue uh, that I've been asking the planners at West Langs to feed information back to me on. And there's not been a great deal of it thus far. Who hasn't um, given you information? Who should, who should be uh, held to account? Well, the the offer, the you know the what we it's a difficult situation because we're dealing with so much information at once. Yes. And, and we we get to a certain point because you don't want to you don't want to go out and chase information that might be not relevant at yes. the next stage. Yeah. Okay. And those kind of things. So we're at the point now where we're starting to look 
uh, highways and what the uh, impact will be um, well, on, on 500 houses in this area. Okay, that impact assessment's been done obviously for the utilities. Yes. Surely there must have been an impact assessment done on well, the think, highway infrastructure. Well, as far as I'm aware at the moment, I'm still waiting information um, f regarding highways for the site. From uh, from this site. Okay. From the highways agency or from the I, 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 from from West Lancs or Lanc uh, Lancashire County Council or wherever it's coming from. I, I don't. I haven't seen it yet. Okay. Um, and it actually says within the lo draft local plan that highways. Um, uh, more information on highways will be coming shortly. And it actually says it that. Sounds really vague, uh, doesn't it? Well, this is one of my concerns, and I think it's this. It, the highways is what really people. Um, apart from the situation where you'll have neighbours that are adjacent to the site yeah. um, having concerns about you know building close to the back of their properties and that kind of thing, um, people can really visualise traffic, can't they? Yeah, but I think they can. I think they can, and especially when you like you say it is a busy road to begin with. I mean, I travel to work along it and come home every single night. I know exactly what you're Stuck talking about. Stuck in the same traffic. Yeah. Could, well, it it does flow. Yeah, and I think I think people. Congestion sometimes. But it's subjective. It is. It, I mean, it's, it, not necessarily subjective, but congestion is when traffic. Um, it's, it's not to do with the volume of traffic that's it's on the it. flow of it. It's when it stops yeah, flowing. Okay. Right. And, and I think you get major congestion when traffic stops flowing. So one of the issues that I'm, I would be, you know, I'm keen to, to see and, and, and keen to look at is what. Um, what improvements that the are they suggesting for making sure that highways uh, is covered as part of this plan? Yeah, and not, not, not just on the A59. I'm <laughs> talking about yeah. you know um, link roads from the site. Uh, you, I mean, let's be realistic. You're one councillor in one yeah. ward yeah. You know, as part of this bigger project, and we know that the projects borough wide. Yeah. Surely. Someone within the ruling, you know, the governing authority has thought about this, and uh, I'm sure they have. And put it, you know, yeah, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure they have. But and put it in the local yeah. plan. I mean, as as obviously maybe as these things you're talking about, about the utilities. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they have thought about it. I'm sure they're working on a report right now. All I'm saying to you is that in relation to highways and mm -hmm. the draft local plan that's been put out to consultation now. I, I've not personally... Will you work with, uh, you, there are three Conservative councillors in town, yep. uh, you've got one Labour councillor in town, yep. is this something you and your Labour colleague uh, agree on and can work together on? Um, I, mean, I mean, as regards the highway, I mean... I, th I, I, yeah. think, I, I think... Um, I don't want to get into politics, yeah, but it's just that... I, I, you know, I mean, personally speaking, I... I mean, I've seen you at your previous interviews, and uh, and and Councillor Davis has said it, it, that he he was uh, he's not against it, and and I think I, I I'm not against it. It's what what I'm trying to achieve as as the local councillor. Sure. Is is you know we have to deliver these housing numbers. There are benefits to it, and there are yeah, and there are and kids are going to grow up. And the kids are going to need homes, aren't they? Yeah. Well, you know. not just that, but I mean, it's not just it's not just. New, a new park and allotments. Yeah. I mean, Bursko has had historic. We have historic issues with with regard to utilities. That's why so many people in Bursko mention that as an is issue. Is this why I wondered why? Is it a hot, yeah, yeah, hot it, potato? It, yeah, it, yeah, and, it? and and not just in the Conservative administration. We had this problem under a Labour administration, okay. and there was nothing done about it. So on a political level, I want to take politics out of that. Good. We just got to we've got to fix the problem, and you know we've. We've got an opportunity, and I, I like to look at the opportunities of what we can get from things rather than just dismiss it. Um, so with this project coming up, you've got an eye, it's a good time to try and get these infrastructure. Yeah, and, 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 and